Taha Hussein was a remarkable figure in Egyptian history for many reasons. As a young boy, he lost his eyesight due to ophthalmia and received poor treatment, leaving him blind for the rest of his life. Despite this adversity, Hussein's determination and intellectual prowess led him to become one of the most influential thinkers of his time, pushing the boundaries of traditional Islamic education and advocating for a more modern, understanding-based approach. Born in 1889, Taha Hussein's early education was primarily focused on memorizing the Quran and studying Arabic and arithmetic. His passion for learning and intellectual curiosity led him to attend Al-Ajhar University, a prestigious institution for religious studies. However, Hussein became frustrated with the strict and sterile style of memorization without real understanding that was promoted at Al-Azhar. He yearned for a more modern and comprehensive education that included sciences and critical thinking. When the Egyptian university opened in 1908, Taha Hussein seized the opportunity to expand his education and eventually became one of its students. Here, he was able to study modern sciences and pursue a more comprehensive education. It was during this time that Hussein began to criticize Al-Azhar's teachings, triggering controversy and accusations of heresy from some traditionalists. Despite the backlash, Taha Hussein continued to pursue his passion for education and critical thinking. He received a doctorate from the Egyptian University and then went on to obtain another doctorate from France, marking his dedication to intellectual advancement and pursuit of knowledge. Taha Hussein's most significant contribution to the world of education and thought was his advocacy for teaching based on understanding rather than rote memorization. His literature and writings not only challenged traditional educational methods, but also delved into controversial topics such as Islam's view of violence and the authenticity of the Quran and its stories. It is important to note that Taha Hussein's ideas and writings were often met with strong opposition, and he faced significant criticism for his bold and challenging perspectives. Some even claim that Taha Hussein converted to Christianity before his death, based on hints in his later writings. Hussein's unyielding commitment to intellectual advancement and his fearless exploration of controversial topics set him apart as an advanced thinker and a pioneer in modern education. He fearlessly launched attacks on Islamic thought, Islamic religion, and the authenticity of the Quran and its stories, sparking critical discussions and debates that continue to have an impact today. Overall, Taha Hussein's life and work serve as a testament to the power of determination, critical thinking, and the pursuit of knowledge. His legacy continues to inspire scholars and thinkers to push the boundaries of traditional thought and promote a deeper understanding of the world around us. Before we move on to Taha Hussein's powerful poem, I Used to Worship the Devil, I'd like to encourage you to like, share, and subscribe if you found this content valuable. Your support allows us to continue bringing you thought-provoking and inspiring material. Now let's delve into the words of Taha Hussein and allow ourselves to be moved by his incredible literary talent. I used to worship the devil. Taha Hussein. I thought you were the misleader, guiding whom you will. The harmful, the reliever, humiliating about arrogance and pride the powerful in might, being deceitful and cunning to people, cutting off the hands of thieves and stoning the bodies of women, establishing justice with the sword, yet your justice lies in shedding blood. O creator of the killers, tell me where is the god of the weak? If you were the creator of all, you wouldn't deprive some of survival? And what benefit do you reap from killing other than destruction and ruin? Would you worship a butcher who crushes the livers of the innocent? Or would you worship a devil sent to us with the seal of the prophets? You thought paradise is for the fighters, where only the strong will dwell. Dates, grapevines, figs, and rivers of wine for the pious. A good refuge for the hungry who lived in the heart of the desert, and beds of precious stones and maidens singing. We are the lovers of the believers. We responded to the call, may Allah reward you through us 
So see how well Allah rewards. Is your paradise filled with struggle, screaming, and entry without hesitation? Renewing the untouched maidens every day while you live in prosperity? Would you worship a misleader who plays with the minds of fools? Or would you worship a devil sent to us with the seal of the prophets? I used to worship the devil.